Moscow says three people were killed in today's massive explosion of the only bridge connecting Russia with the annex. Depicting, depicting an image of the bridge on fire. And that's not the only thing uh, you're seeing from Ukraine in the form of sort of celebrating or mocking this explosion. Fred Plykin joins us now. Uh, Fred. Apparently a truck assessment is that Moscow it was a truck that exploded. I think we can see some of the video of that massive explosion of taking place. Apparently a truck Russia driving the there before that explosion took place. An image the truck blew up the and that caused on parts fire. of the That's bridge, the, only um, thing, uh, the automobile uh, part of the bridge, from Ukraine in the form to collapse of sort of and also damage the railway bridge as well. One of Fred the things we're saying is there was a train going past there that apparently also had a fuel tank assessment is that at least three of those fuel tanks were destroyed as that explosion took place. Obviously, in truck to that massive fire that we've been seeing all morning, the Russians are saying that fire that is now out of They are not able to get a railway thought about what we're seeing from Ukraine running fairly quickly again. But of course, the railway bridge is seeing that massive explosion on the train going past the automobile part of the bridge, obviously severely damaged, is partially collapsed. The fuel tank is going to get that massive fire running as well. Of course, that is obviously in truck to that massive fire to the Russian explosion. But logistically, also right now, the Russia is seeing that for the train, it's also extremely as the automotive part of the military gear damage. That is the big issue for the Russian as the Ukrainian are already pushing themselves to the inaugurated in the south of the Ukraine. And also, their logistically, also. Prime Minister of the Ministry of Education, Russia, and is 